Been a minute since we've done any Magic the Gathering, huh? Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down another booster cracking video and I'm doing a little bonus video this week because I found some Magic the Gathering cards that I haven't opened yet. I haven't opened any of these packs yet and I'm excited to open them because there's some cool stuff in there that I'm definitely interested in. As you, if you guys follow any of my Magic the Gathering online stuff, you know I'll be interested in some of these stuff. I found a good deal on these. I know Time Sparrow right now is kind of hot and it's selling out in a lot of places uh, so I found a good nice price on these from GameStop. And I also found some of these Kaldeheim 12 card set boosters. These look pretty cool as well. These are for non-drafting people who want to go for more of the collector side of things. So this is right up my alley. And I love like Norse mythology stuff and Viking stuff. I'm a big fan. And I don't know why. I guess I've just been too crazy obsessed with Force of Will. But I haven't opened up any of the Kaldeheim uh, set yet. None of them. None of them. So, great place to start, I think. I don't know, maybe I should get a box of these. It might be worth it for me if I fall in love with some of these cards. So, I'm gonna do a quick little bonus video today for you guys. Go back to some of my roots of opening Magic the Gathering cards since I haven't in a good long while. So hopefully you guys enjoy, leave a like, and let's get into it. I think we'll get started with the Kaldeheim first and then go into Time Spiral. All right, let's start with this one. Get these suckers open. Yeah, just give me the booster. I don't care about all your glue and all the other shenanigans. So we got a guaranteed foil card and an art card. I don't know if the art cards are the showcase or if there's something else in these sets. I, I completely forget. But let's uh, open it up and see what it is. Ah, yes, Magic the Gathering. No pull tabs. Gotta hold it. open it the old-fashioned way. Oh, oh, yeah, all right. So there's an art card, that's for sure. Holy cow, look at that sucker. Wow. That's nice. It's a high gloss finish, too. Really cool. Let's give some credit to Ian Miller. Ian Miller, good freaking stuff, man. That is sick. Vargoth Blood Sky Sire. That is freaking dope. Oh, yo, our snow covered mountains. We all love it in Popper, don't we? All right, let's go through Tormentor's Helm. Uh, open the Omen Paths. Asgard's Calvary, I don't know, Reinforcements, that one's not bad from what I remember. Divine Gambit, Spectral Steel, Asgard Armory, very nice. Here's our first rare, Asika's Chariot, as the cute little cats on there in their little little vehicle. Uh, let's see, when it enters battlefield, create two, two, two green cat, cat creature tokens, can't speak. <laughs> and whenever it attacks, you create a copy that's a copy of target token you control crew four interesting very nice frostbite as a common interesting asgard's barak or bogart as our nice foil and what's on the end we've got a tybalt from war of the spark say what i didn't know these were in here okay i was reminiscing about war of the spark and i was kind of looking at maybe trying to find another booster box but they've gone in up in price like a lot actually the set's gotten really popular which i figured it would i mean how can all those planeswalkers and awesome cards not go up in price so it's kind of interesting that we're pulling a tybalt here for more of the spark really really sick looking art card on this one wow that is awesome Credit to the artist, we've got Egan, the God of Death, Jason A. Ingle. Very nice, dude. Very nice. All right, into our Swamp Mountain. These are good ones to get for Popper. A Sculptor of Winter, Glittering Food, Jasper Sentinel, Dusk Wielder, Masked Vandal. Let's go. I'm playing that in my Popper slivers right now. It is a fantastic card. Setting that to the side. Demonic Gifts, Comus Faithful. Blood Sky. Oh, whoa, we just revealed something cool. There's an Epiphany as our Mythic, but behind it, oh my gosh, we got a nice showcase. Harald, King of Skemfar. Holy cow, that is dope looking. These will look sick in foils, that's for sure. These look amazing. Behind it, though, we got Village Rights as a foil and then just a token. Weird. So token on that one and Tybalt in the last one, huh? I don't know where the prices are at with this stuff. I don't know where the meta is right now with these cards. So I'm going in blind. I'll try to put up some prices up on screen if I find anything of decent value. All right, into this next one here. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Crack this sucker open if I can. Oh, there we are. All right, let's check out this art card. Oh, you are very Viking-esque. That is some beautiful stuff. 
Credit to the artist one more time here. We got Finn the Fang Bear by Lai Setaiwan. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that right. If I'm not, sorry about that. All right, so let's go into the rest of the pack. A Swamp Forest, very nice. Depart the Realm, we got Mist Walker, not bad. A Veil, Yeti, ooh, that's nice. Frostbite, Shadow Sage, Ritualist, Striker, Ooh, the Necromancer, Zombie Cleric. I think he's a decent one, actually, as our rare. Very nice. Uh, behind it, Avalanche Caller, just an uncommon. Behind that, here's our foil. Priest of the Haunted Edge, Zombie Cleric. Not bad, that's cool looking. Some dope artwork on that one. And then we got a Dominaria card, the Flame of Keld as the Saga card. That's funny, huh? Pretty cool packs, pretty cool packs. Let me know in the comments below, should I get a box of the set collector Kaldheim uh, booster box? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get into what we've all been wanting to see, some good old time spiral. Let's take a walk down memory lane into the past of magic as they finally reprinted some dope looking cards. And yeah, there's slivers in here, so I definitely wanna get some slivers. Come on, wow, they got like all sorts of paddings. All right, here we go. Oh, there's the third one. Tiny Spiral, very nice. Now, I wasn't in Magic back in the heydays of when these cards were first printed, but I do know a lot of them because I've been watching a lot of legacy gameplay or um, whatever the format is that plays all the old cards. I'm like losing my mind right now and can't think of it, but I'm watching a lot of that. So I'm getting familiar with all these classic old ones. All right, let's open up the first one here and see what we can find. Okay, looking for magic. Oh, we're doing it backwards, okay. Let's go into this. Plasma, Primal Plasma, Ignis, Meyer, ooh, very cool. Mind Stab, Primark, Kavu Primark, oh, classic. I think I do have that one. A Mage, Transmuter, Bird Wizard, Chromatic Star, oh, that's some nice artwork on that one. Manatai, let's go, that one's dope. Awesome, awesome. Dirkwood Balleth. Dreadship Reef, all right, very cool. Shivin Meteor, Caldeherm, or however you want to say that. Angel of Salvation is our rare. And then we've got, ooh, look at that. Oh, they printed them classic too, Time of Need. That is dope looking. And then our token, very cool. Classic printing style is great. That was such a nice touch. All right, next one, let's get into it here. We got the Meyer on top, it looks like again, very good. Let's see who else we got. Shaman, a serpent. Ooh, that one. Slipstream serpent. That one's cool. Cussite. Oh, Drake. I've got like a million of these in my old box of bulk. Mage, Rift Bolt. That's a nice one. Very cool. Doomsayers, Reckless Worm, Judge Unworthy, Peter Crying, Paradise Plume, Spellburst, and then our rare is the Benelish Commander. Behind it, though, we got. Secret Plans, very cool artwork on that one. Next one, let's go. How's this one opening for me? Oh, it's not? Oh, it's just gonna rip right there and not open the package. Awesome, all right. Breaking into it, let's go. Piracy Charm, not a bad card, pretty cool. Oh, Bone Splitter Sliver, our first sliver, let's go. Classic one, but not one that's typically used. Reality Acid, a Nemesis of Mine and Popper. Love that freaking deck. Let me tell you, I love the 30, 40 minute games. Mind Stab, Bound in Silence, Prismatic Lens, classic. What is that one? Dead and Gone of our double cards. Very cool. And Amir Scout, let's reposition Phantom Worm. Harmonize, cool, awesome, that one's good. Rumbler, and then Ancestral Vision. <laughs> as our mythic sorcery, holy cow. That one's gotta be a good reprint, right? I'm pretty sure that's a good one to get. I, yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. And then Hedron Archive as our nice old fashioned card. That is dope. All right, next box, let's open it up. Go from the bottom this time. Maybe that'll be a little bit easier. It is, it's way easier to go from the bottom. All right, new box, new packs, let's go. Let's see what else we can get in here. Oh, I recognize this human wizard man. I've got a bunch of bulk of him too. Brute Force, Evolution Charm, Blight Speaker, Utopia Vow, Mitocurm, Trespasser, Lymph Sliver. All creatures, sliver creatures have absorb one. If a source would deal damage to a sliver, prevent one of that damage. Pretty cool, but too expensive for us in slivers. Hate to say it. 
Ilkor, Whipspine Drake, what's that, Peregrine, Storm Entity, and then Hyper Genesis as our Mythic. Very cool. Oh man, have I seen this one get played before? I don't know if I have, so I'm not quite sure. And then, oh, let's go. Now that's a nice one. I like this one. Cloud Shredded Sliver. Oh man, that's a, that's a beautiful card to have in Modern or Pioneer, you name it. This is a baller sliver card. Slivers, cr sliver creatures you control have flying and haste for two mana, one, one. Ugh, such a good sliver. All right, next one, let's cruise. Go a little faster on these now, shall we? Unless I see something cool. Sage, Drake, Sursa Bursa, Ancient, Massive Ghouls, Blink, Dread Return, Crusader, Calform Pools, and Swarm Yard is our rare. Uh, behind that, we've got a classic Ponder, though. That's pretty sick. Love the artwork for this Ponder, honestly. It's so sweet. And then an Imperosaur as our nice foil. First foil? Was that our first foil? I don't even know, but that's our foil. I can see why this is selling out and everybody wants this set right now. It's gotta have such a high nostalgic value to all the older players who have been in this for so long. It's probably such a nice treat for them to go through and re-pull some of these cards. Uh, Battering Sliver, they have Trample, we don't use that one. Blight Speaker, Worm, Judge Unworthy, Bewilder, Soot, Giant, Ukor, Elder, Ranger, Life and Limb is our rare. Very cool looking. Behind it, Slimefoot the Stowaway, which is a newer card that they just reprinted to have the old border, I guess is what they're kind of going for here. But really cool. I'm a fan of this card. Behind it, we got Mass of Ghouls. Just a common foil, but still pretty sweet. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's crack into the last box here of Time Spiral, shall we? Dump them out. Let them loose. Why do we only have two packs? Did I just get ripped off? I totally just got ripped off, didn't I? Holy crap, there's no more in there. There's no more in there. Wow. Okay. Last two packs then because I totally got ripped off. That's fun. Someone stole one out of here, slid it out somehow. Sneaky, sneaky boy. Stealing's bad. Come on. All right. We're going to start with the Sidewinder Sliver package here because we love that card in Popper. We love it. You're not going to worry about our missing pack right now. It just is what it is. Recluse, Light Speaker, Green Seeker, Raptors, Peridorium. Silence, Prismatic Lens, a Dead and Gone Again. Oh, Riffling Clouds, Cloudscape, that is lovely. Dread Return, Monstrosity, Dryad Arbor. Very nice, very nice, as our rare. Behind that, Sorceress Spyglass reprinted in the classic version. Very cool. And an Evolution Charm Foil. Lovely, lovely. What's the best card you can get in this set? Let me know in the comments below, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to read the comments. I don't want to just look at TCG player. All right, last pack. Let's get in to the magic. Let's go. Plasma. Very nice. 4C. Grinning Ignis. Shell Deller. Dweller. 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 Looter Ilkor. Very nice. Good card. Doomsayer. Riftbolt again. Very cool. Seekers. Crusader. Pongify. Classic. Char Rumbler. And ooh, that's got to be a good one too. Come on. Teferi Mage. Ah, that is a great mythic. That is a classic one. That's That's got to have some value, I'm pretty sure. And Everflowing Chalice, too. That one might be some good value as well. This is, uh, this is not a bad card. A lot of people do use this one. That is fantastic. Okay. Here's some nice pulls of the day for you. We got the Ancestral Vision, the Teferi, and the Everflowing Chalice. Sweet, sweet cards. I will put the prices up for these cards as we've gone through the video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bonus video of Magic the Gathering. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more unboxings or booster crackings of Magic the Gathering products, or if I should get that Kaldeheim. Let me know in the comments below, and hopefully you enjoyed. If you do like other stuff that we've been doing on the channel, we've got tons of Force of Will if you like the other TCG card games. Really, really cool. That's where this playmat's from. It's a dope game. And then we're doing Go-Go's Crazy Bones. So if any of you guys grew up playing with Crazy Bones in the 90s, early 2000s, check out some of the other unboxings I've been doing because those are a blast from the past. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, and we'll see you guys in the next video.